this video, we're going to talk about the Oakland A's and how the Oakland A's have actually done something we weren't expecting here on the channel or anywhere else. They bought land in Las Vegas. In other words, they're probably going to be moving to Las Vegas in the next few years. And we're going to talk about it in this video starting right now. So, so I've been talking about the Oakland A's for the last few days. Uh, talking about how decrepit the ballpark is that they play in. It's not even a ballpark, it's a stadium. Uh, they have all kinds of rodents and, and cats and possums running around. Basically have taken over the stadium. In fact, when the Mets uh, were there this past weekend, uh, the Met broadcasters, the TV broadcasters, could not do the game from the from the visitor's booth because it was overrun by possum. And they, they couldn't do it there. It was disgusting. Uh, what was left behind for the uh, broadcasting team. Uh, and the team is about as bad of a team as you're going to get. They are currently 3-16. and 16. They are on pace to win 30 games. They are on pace to break and shatter the 1962 New York Mets uh, record of 120 losses. They are on pace to lose 132, as currently constituted. This is considered to be... This is one of the worst starts in the history of the athletics franchise, a franchise that dates back 123 years, that predates them playing in Philadelphia, I mean predates them playing in Kansas City, and it goes back to when they played in uh, Philadelphia many years ago. So the A's trade all their best players again uh, last offseason. Uh, they traded Chris Bass to the Mets. They traded... Uh, Matt Chapman. Uh, they traded Matt Olson. Uh, this past offseason, they, they traded uh -oh, Sean Murphy to the Atlanta Braves. Now, they have brought in young players again, and I'm sure that they will rebuild. Now, I am, have a different attitude about the Oakland A's. We know that they've been to the postseason a lot, but they do not give their fans any kind of like chance to uh, grow with a group of guys uh, every fan base loves young players, and they love to watch them grow. And they, every fan hates it when a when a player that's come up through their system and plays the team for three or four years and then gets traded away. Uh, no fan base wants to see that, and the fans there are basically tired of this. And I can't blame them uh, for. The game on Sunday when the Mets played the A's, they celebrated the 50th anniversary of the 73 A's that won the World Series. Uh, there were 20,000 people in, in the ballpark. Uh, that place should have been packed. On a Sunday afternoon game, and it was a beautiful day there in, in Oakland, there's no excuse for them to have only 20,000 people in that stadium. But that tells you how poorly the relationship is with the fans and with the team as well as the city. Now, the city is a disaster. It is run poorly um, from the way the government is run there. It's run very badly. Crime has overrun the city like a lot of big cities. But uh, they have shown no wherewithal to want to keep not only them... But a basketball team, they lost an NBA team there. They lost an NFL team there. So, so the A's leaving in a few years to go to Las Vegas is just another team that is come come and go to Oakland. And uh, now, in one regard, I I don't feel bad uh, for the A's franchise because they've had a lousy uh, partner there in Oakland. They, for years, they've been trying to get a ballpark put down. Where it's a better, safer neighborhood for the for the fans, uh, a more um, active place for the fans to be, and and uh, the city has done nothing to to remedy that problem. Uh, and at the same time, you have a team that doesn't want to invest in it. They don't want to spend the money. Once a player gets to a certain level, they move him on to another team, or they let him run out and become a free agent. It is a cycle of of mediocrity that you see, you really don't see it really anywhere. I mean, you don't see it in Cleveland. The the Guardians that used to be the Indians, they were able to run their team. They they sign all these young players to these contracts, but why can't the A's do that? 
I mean, why haven't why hasn't Oakland gone out of their way to sign guys before they become free agents? The only team that doesn't do that. Even the Reds did that. The Reds the other day they signed Hunter Green to a six year deal of fifty three million dollars, and you don't see that uh, in Oakland. They're the only team, and their owner is a you know is valued at two point four billion dollars. He's a billionaire, so there's no excuse for him not to spend money on his team. They get plenty of revenue sharing from Major League Baseball. Um, there's no reason for it. Absolutely no reason for it. Now, they have purchased land. This is the A's. Have purchased land in Las Vegas. Now, Las Vegas has been able to bring in a lot of big teams. They've been able to bring in the... They have a hockey team there now. They have a... Uh, the Raiders are there. That's a big deal having the NFL team there. Um... And now the A's are probably going to leave Oakland to go to Las Vegas, uh, which is probably the best thing that the, that franchise can have to deal with. Uh, so that means by 2027, they've agreed with the city to build a ballpark for the A's. Uh, the belief is that ground will be broken sometime next year and that the, that the, that the ballpark will be ready by 2027. So that means that the Oakland fans that are there in California are only going to have the A's uh, in Oakland three more seasons after this. Uh, now, I would also mention this as the state is run poorly, too. And there is, because I see that here, too. Uh, people are leaving California in droves. And now you have probably the weakest team in California is leaving California to go to a better place where they'll, they'll be appreciated. There'll be plenty of fans going to the ballpark. They have, will have a better relationship with the city and with the state than they do right now. Uh, all the other teams in California, they are all doing pretty well. Just in terms of the ballpark, in terms of the fan base, it seems to be everybody's pretty much settled. Everybody's pretty happy. But Oakland has been an issue for a long time. Uh, for the last 20 years, they've had all kinds of issues there. Uh, and hopefully now uh, the A's can stop traveling. Hopefully this is their last stop. Uh, we've had a few franchises in baseball that have been bounced around, but no one has bounced around as much as the A's. They went from the, the East Coast to the central part of the country to the West Coast, and now they're going out to the desert. Um, you know, I mean, that kind of, I guess, is the character of that particular franchise. But anyway... Uh, so the A's will be the Las Vegas Athletics, I would think, in the next few years. Uh, the Oakland fans, uh, you didn't go to the ballpark. You didn't, I mean, really, everyone is at fault here, to be honest with you. The fans are at fault. The, the city's at fault. The state's at fault. And the team's at fault. It's a bad situation for everybody. And the best thing that can happen is just, just walk away from it. That's about it. I'm sure I'll have more videos on the Oakland A's. I, I'm very fascinated by it, and I think you are too. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut too. Thank you, and I'll see you later.